This is the ThinkPad X201 and we're going to try Damn Small Linux 2024. And I'm using Ventoy on a USB over here. And this is DSL 2024 RC7 ISO. And it's based on NTX 23. And this is a really small Linux distribution. It's about 1.1 gigabytes, so it makes it really small. If you need something even smaller, have a look at Mini OS or Porteous. Um, but it does make it quicker to download, quicker to transfer, quicker to boot in theory. And look at that, we're at the desktop. That was so quick. That was great. So that booted really quickly. It popped up straight away with the Wi-Fi connection, it detected the Wi-Fi adapter in this laptop, and I've connected to the network. It does an interesting thing where it doesn't hide the password, which seems a little bit of a security risk, but as long as no one's over your shoulder watching or recording a YouTube video, you should be fine. So this is, um, based on anti-x and we should be able to find the different apps so and we should also be able to adjust the settings so we can see more clearly let me move the camera so that should give you a better view but i'll just try and adjust the settings so that it's a little bit easier to see as well this font is quite small Customize look and feel. So default font, we can make that larger. But we also need to adjust this little bit down here. Because the menus are also quite small. And I have a feeling there should be some themes Now here we are in Fluxbox settings, so we've got these different ones where we click these and we get different sizes and different colours until we find something we like. Let's go for one of these. So it's interesting that you've got different areas where you can adjust things like the font size. Um, it does seem a little bit disjointed. Um, and then you've also got some applications up here as well as in applications, you've got a range of different things. Hey, there's some games. That's cool. We might have a look at those. Um, the mouse has stopped working. Has it crashed? No, just the mouse has stopped working. Let me unplug it, plug it back in. That's really odd. Um, the mouse, maybe the system might have crashed. Okay, I think we've got a crash here. Okay, I'm going to have to switch this off and restart it. Okay, we are back. Um, it's We've lost our settings, so let's just go for what we were on before. And we were trying to open a web browser. So let's go for Firefox ESR. And we've got some useful information over here 
on the side, such as the screen resolution, how much RAM is being used and how much is uh, total that's available. Um, and we've got Firefox. So let's go for the usual thing that we do where we try and open a number of tabs. Um, I don't think we'll have many problems with this being an i5 laptop. Um, we'll start with five tabs. Interesting how it sort of hides what they are. Not sure if I'm a massive fan of that or this theme seems a little bit less than ideal. Um, maybe it's just some of the fonts and colors that are not the best choice, but it's loading very smoothly. I don't see any problem with this. Um, let's give WebGL Aquarium a go. I don't think it's going to work because of the i5 processor. It's a first gen processor and doesn't support WebGL. Um, so yeah, this is an i5 processor with four gigs of RAM and yeah, nice keyboard on this actually, the ThinkPad X201. Let's have a look at YouTube. Does seem quite responsive. Um, it's using the Wi-Fi built into the laptop. It detected that fine and loaded fine. Um, Seems to be working well. And let's have a look at this video. Um, the laptop is over here. In the background, it's playing the videos. Let's mute that. Let's, so we haven't got to the skip yet. Struggling a little bit there. It is a bit choppy, I guess. It's using VP09. And we're waiting for the skip button that do seem to be a lot more ads on YouTube these days, or maybe I'm just noticing them more. Okay, the pop out player, let's get rid of that. And let's make this full screen. It's using the AVO, oh no. Yeah, AVO1 codec. Um, and it's dropping quite a lot of frames actually. Um, it's at 480. Does seem to be struggling a little bit with the playback. I'm not sure why that is, whether it's missing some drivers that it needs um, to get better performance. I think we were seeing better performance with the last Linux operating system I tried on this. But yeah, still dropping these frames. It's not the network. There's a really good network connection there. Um, but I guess it's the graphics drivers that are missing that's causing this sort of slowness. What else do we have? We should probably open a terminal. Oh, we were going to have a quick look at some of the games, weren't we? Um, I'm not sure how well they'll perform if it's missing the graphics drivers, but why don't we just see what happens. GPL Arcade Volleyball. Pac-Man for console. What? <laughs> um... Interesting. Don't know what ten mado is, but looks interesting. Tux pack. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> And what else do we have? Seems like this one is also just kicking us out. And I can't move to the password box, but it does seem like it's um, giving us some different session options if I could log on. Oh look, yeah, we've got a sort of more traditional looking um, taskbar at the bottom. Although it'd be nice if I could make it a little bit larger. We've got some different themes. So yeah, this is um, DSL 2024. Um, works quite well as a live boot system. Um, I couldn't get it to run on the HP stream, but seems fine on this laptop, apart from when it crashed, but it is a live boot and that does happen sometimes. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, quite like the colors, this, uh, the wallpaper's nice. It's, it's responsive, it's definitely responsive. And um, doesn't seem to like the idea of me trying to run a terminal for some reason. Let's try this one down here. Nope, it just kind of seems to crash and put me back to that screen. So yeah, that's a shame. Um, maybe there's another terminal we could have a look at or maybe not. Got some office apps, got some multimedia, got internet, distro tools, but yeah, shame I've not been able to. Um, are these are like terminal applications that you run in a terminal. I see. So HTOP. Ah, that's nice that we've got these sort of shortcuts. Space Invaders. <laughs> Just missing the sound. Okay, well, I think we'll end there before the video gets too long. And let me know what you think. I've probably missed a few things. Yeah, it's quite easy to download this and give this a try. Stick it on a Ventoy USB, give it a try, and you can use it without having to wipe your drive or install it. So yeah, let's log out and shut down and see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.